Good morning. Happy Wednesday, you guys. I got the green light to start using a little bit of weight. So we're going to do a leg day today. Oh, I forgot my papers. I'll go grab them inside because I want to switch things up just a tad. We're going to start off with some mobility stretches. Then we will get into our leg routine, right? So, um, oh no, we'll start off with glute activation. Then we'll get into our leg routine. I'll just go from up here right now until I go get the papers. Um, but for now, let's just start off with some mobility stretches. If you're just joining, hi Tracy, my name is Sabrina. I do live workouts every single day, Monday through Friday. Join me right here. TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, um, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time every single day, Monday through Friday. Thank you so much for being here. But let me tell you a little bit about what these workouts are. We strength train from home, we lose weight, we build muscle, we build strength, right? All using minimal equipment from home, easy, fun, just like making it work, right? So don't think you can't get a fantastic workout from home and dare I say get in the best shape of your life. That's what I did, so I know if I can do it, you can too. All right, let's get started. We're gonna do some leg swings. So we're gonna swing front to back with our left foot. I'm gonna start the clock once we start going into our glute activation exercises, okay? Good morning! How are you guys? Happy Wednesday. I hope you're having a fantastic morning. I took all my vitamins. I've been up since six o'clock this morning. Went on my walk. I did not make my protein goal yesterday. I was shy like 20 grams, so that sucks. I think like if I don't make my protein shake and have it ready to go right after my workout, I'm just the type of person that I won't drink it. So I have it made, ready to go. We're gonna try to hit that protein goal today. Swing that left foot left to right. The next thing that we're gonna do is a yogi squat and I'm gonna show you a modified version and a more advanced version too, okay? Let me know if you guys see Mary in the chat. She said she was coming back. So I'm hoping she's here. Good morning, how are you guys? Hi Nico, how are you? Good morning. All right, we're gonna go into a yogi squat. Wide stance, hands together. We come all the way down. Elbows in between your knees. We rock from side to side. The idea here is we wanna get that knee mobility, ankle mobility, hip mobility, right? If this is too difficult for you, I, I get it. You're gonna come here on your mat, shoulder width apart, come down. You're gonna put your hands on your knees and I want you to turn side to side. Start there and then I want you to rock. So rock those knees, rock those ankles, rock those hips, yeah? You know what, I, one other mobility stretch that I forgot that we always used to do is hip openers. So you're here and you just open up that hip. Now with any of these exercises today or these stretches, if you struggle with um, imbalance or your, mo your uh, stability is just a little off, you can totally grab a chair, right? To help. But that's why we build that core strength, right? So, stay tuned. And we will be doing like 20 minutes of core at the end, yeah? Okay. Let me go get my papers really quick. you how hard I've been working to be like, can I use weights, can I use weights, can I use weights? So I've been like walking my dogs as much as I can, just trying to like work out my foot and just, you know, get it, get it used to like moving again. Okay, so we are going to start off with our lateral band walks. I'm starting my watch now. So with these lateral band walks, you guys, you're gonna, oh, let me tell you real quick the equipment you're gonna need. A heavy set of dumbbells, a lighter set of dumbbells, a bench or a step. If you don't have the bench or step, you can modify it by using a chair. And then you're gonna need some booty bands, yeah? So with this lateral band walk, we're gonna go into a squat, but it's not necessarily a full squat. We're gonna be like right about here, okay? Full squat would be all the way down here. We're gonna be right here. Then we're gonna step across, 
Making that band work, we want that resistance, right? Then we come together. Let's do it. We're gonna do four sets of 10. There and back is gonna count as one, okay? Good morning, legs day is the best day, you already know. Hi, Julian, how are you, buddy? Hi, Anaya, you're gonna be joining me soon? Oh, yes, Ramadan, okay, yes, I look forward to you joining. Yay, 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 thank you, Anaya. Good morning, I'm so glad you popped in. Hey, fitness gang, what's up? All my peeps, good morning, you guys. Good morning, Dana. Okay, let's get it, guys. Ugh. I've been so bloated lately, but here we go. We're here. Come together. But Julian, I'm not back at it. I never left. I never left. I was still working out with my boot. Now we just have the boot off. So now we're like back in the game. Okay, that's two. Take a break. You're really going to feel this in your glutes. Um, and look, that's a Martin on my, that's a Martin right there on my bird bath. Do you see it? He's black and he's got an orange beak, no yellow. <sighs> okay. Holy crap, it's so humid. We've got two more, let's go. give to it so if that's the same for you switch it up holy crap if you're just joining guys hi my name is Sabrina I do live workouts every single day 10 a.m. Central Standard Time without fail I'm here working out for an entire hour so come join me my split is Monday Wednesday Friday leg day Tuesdays and Thursdays we do upper body and then every single day we do about 10 to 20 minutes of four at the end yeah so we're gonna go do another glute activation exercise. Why am I out of breath? <laughs> Holy shit. Oh my gosh. Okay, so for this one, it's another hip abduction focused exercise. It's activating our glutes. We are gonna be in a tabletop position and we're gonna open up that hip to a fire hydrant or hip abduction. Um, and then we're gonna make it a little more intense by doing a little kick out, okay? Matching outfit, fire. Ah, oh, thank you, Nika. I appreciate you so much. Sabrina, you're live. I keep missing them. Oh no, Angel. Well, you're here now, so yay. Good morning, you guys. Thanks for the follows. I appreciate you so much. Coffee. Uh, I don't drink coffee, but um, sometimes I'll do matcha. You're finally back. Thanks, Jillian. I've been meaning to call you. I gotta give you a call. Check in with you. Okay, so. This is what it's going to look like, you guys. You're on your mat, tabletop position. We come up, kick out. Come up, kick out for 10. Slow and controlled. Focusing on the glutes. Think about your glutes as you're doing it. Other side. 
right, let's go. ADHD test. It's not cheap, but I scheduled it for May, so I just need them to like sign. Yes, you do have ADHD. Because I already know I do. But I just need to be, I just need to have it confirmed in case I want to get medicated for it, which I'm still on the fence about. But we'll talk about that more later. Um, ADHD, let's be friends. We're a mess, right? Not a mess, but we're just all over the place. Okay, so, which is why you guys, I'm always like, I can talk forever, and I always forget what set we're on. This is so embarrassing. <sighs> Yay! Hi, Sebastian! How are you? Okay, so... We're done with our glute activation. Let's get started. We're gonna go do, um, let's start off with the seesaw lunge, okay? And we're gonna do it weighted. So there's two different ways you can do these. Oh, you know what else I wanna do? I wanna do some lateral lunges. Do you remember those? Where we step out and then we come up into a knee drive. Let's start off with that first, okay? So. Or is that too much? Let me see. We're going to do it. Yeah, I'm going to stick with the 10. At least for this exercise. So, form check, you guys. You step out into a lateral lunge. Let me go with my right foot. <laughs> you step out into a lateral lunge. Shoulders up, chest back. Your core is on. We are... right here when we drive up right so if you don't have enough balance to do the knee drive that's totally fine just do the lateral lunge and come together but you can also do that knee drive too here okay actually are we gonna use a weight for this let me see hold on it's been a minute it's been a minute yeah we can use weight Oh, I'm gonna be sore, even though this is just a little baby. It's a little baby, 10 pounds. Okay. Let's do it, let's rock and roll. I'm gonna start off with my right leg. Again, you have options. No weight, weight, knee drive, no knee drive. Let's go. Breathe. 
wind feels nice. Let's go to the left side. Remember, your core is on. And we're going slow and controlled. I'm so glad I didn't use the 20. forever and um, I was in a really weird headspace like I was in a funk and I still haven't really come out of it 100% so if you notice like I haven't been posting on Instagram or I haven't been posting on TikTok it's because like I just I'm trying to like work my way back up to like being creative and all that stuff I'm just trying to focus on my workouts and then I'll get back into the swing of things don't worry but I'm still here every day showing up working out so if you want to see me, come on in at 10 a.m., okay? Good morning. Okay, one more round. Let's go. Right leg. gardening so much I've just been so focused on that getting my backyard like together so I've been like last night I did that for like two hours planted some more tomatoes planted some more tomatillos what else did I plant uh, just like some perennials and like flowers and stuff like that oh. okay let's go do the left leg then we're gonna do some goblet squats, okay? Let's go. yesterday I was like I don't know if people want me to count to 10 but I scream enough as it is I know, I know you guys know I scream if I sat here and counted every single rep I would not have a voice so let me know what you think like if you want me to count but it's a lot um but anyway so for this goblet squat you guys you're gonna stand shoulder width apart on your mat you're gonna grab that dumbbell like this we're going down into a squat we're driving up through those heels. So we sit those hips back and we drive up, okay? Are you ready? 
Let's do two regular and two golf or two um, sumos. So for the sumos, we would just point those toes out 20 degrees, okay? But we're gonna start off with two regular. Let's go! I'm so annoying. I swear, when I was on my walk this morning, I was trying to like figure out who would be awake that I could call. I called my mother-in-law, I called my mom, I called my best friend, and I was like, good morning! It was like 6.13, they're like, what is wrong with you? I'm like, it's a beautiful day! It's like, they're just so irritated with me. Okay, anyways, let's go. Let's go! We pause for one at the bottom, yeah? Then we reset. Core is on. Three more. Set number two. Is that okay? Let's go. two more sumos, okay? Is that cool? Okay. Oh, we're supposed to break. Get some water. I don't like to drink too, too much water. Yeah, now what I'm saying? Stair step, be back. Thank you, Sebastian. Holy crap, thanks for popping in. I hope you have a fantastic Wednesday. So, on our system, we're going to 10 reps, okay? Push yourself. Challenge yourself, don't cheat yourself. And I say that all the time because you will see true growth when you push yourself out of your comfort zone, right? When you just like are just doing the regular and you just, uh, no, I want you to really push yourself, which is why you should be increasing your weights or your reps or your sets. That's what progressive overload is, right? So we're constantly putting our body under pressure and pushing ourselves to the max. Like you should be feeling exhausted like you're kind of struggling those last couple reps or sets if you're not then let's figure out what we need to do differently right and that can be done in this, a lot of different ways slowing down your tempo right um increasing your weight um increasing the reps the sets yada 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 yeah all right let's go so we're gonna do a sumo goblet so instead of shoulder width apart you're gonna start there but we're gonna point our toes out 20 degrees, yeah? Then we're gonna grab that dumbbell here and we're gonna squat. You ready? Let's go! We hold for one at the bottom. Then we come up. Drive up through those heels, yeah? Five more. I'm also doing midget, I think they're called Minnesota midget cantaloupes and I've done those I think twice before and I was actually successful so I'm going to do those again. And I'm also gonna do a sugar baby watermelon, which are like little tiny watermelons. So, so stoked. Okay. And my dad gave me a lime tree and my mom gave me an avocado tree.
water. Okay. All right, all right, all right, all right. Let's go do some walking lunges, yeah? Let's do it. Okay, so for these, it's just a lunge. We're just walking, okay? So, you're gonna hit that 90 degrees. You're gonna come together, reset, and then go opposite leg. You can use no weights, one weight at your collarbone, or two by your sides. It's totally up to you. But challenge yourself, don't cheat yourself, okay? Let's go. So we're walking across. There and back. Count as one. Well, I just lost my balance. Redo that. one you want to do okay it's up to you hi Tracy how are you okay set number two drive up from that heel shoulders up chest back your core is on Jump, you wanna do the jump lunge. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna do the jump. But I am gonna add some weight. I'll do like a 10 pound. Okay. We've got two more sets of these and another really good exercise is just walking with the dumbbells by your side. I feel like it's really good for your core. Um, but just like walking with like a heavier set of dumbbells. Do that like a couple times. Ooh, you'll feel it. Okay, two more sets. Then we're going to jump lunge or seesaw lunge. Okay? Remember, we're not rushing, so don't try to go super fast.
I never started my watch. That's okay. Because I can tell how long we've been here. We've been here 31 minutes. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. So for the jump lunge, you guys, this is what it's going to look like. You can do this with a weight or without a weight. If you do it with a weight, you're just going to stack that weight at your collarbone. You come here to the middle of your mat. any accidents happening over here, right? So we're here, we hit the lunge, we jump into the lunge, right? Right? Then we reset, switch legs. And then you just keep going back and forth. This is a fantastic exercise to raise your heart rate. I love doing this when we do HIIT workouts, which we will be getting back to shortly, very soon. So if you've never done a HIIT workout with me, they're not easy. They are not easy, okay? But they're so much fun, and it's just a great way to like get some cardio in. And also, if you only have time for a 20 minute workout, I say 20 minute, but it's always like 30. Um, but you can, you know, stop whenever you want. It's just a great way to get a quick workout in in a short amount of time and burn a lot of calories in a short amount of time. So I love it. So anyways, I digress. That's the jump lunge. If you're gonna do the seesaw lunge, you start off in the middle of your mat, forward lunge, into a reverse lunge. If your balance is an issue, go grab a chair. Okay? Okay. Let's go. Hit that 90 degree, shoulders back, chest up, your core is engaged. Don't let your knee go past your toe. Drive up from that heel. Five, four. Ouch. My mat said no. Get down. Hello. I'm just kidding. Okay, ready? Let's go. You had like two more. I really struggle with my balance on these. Holy crap! Left leg! isn't even I'm not even timing okay hi everybody on IG I thought it was jump squats it's called a jump lunge jump squats are this that's a jump squat this is a jump lunge okay I'm gonna do the last two jumping no wait let's go
I asked, I was like, can I jump? Can I jump? Yes, I can jump. But I gotta be chill, I can't be crazy about it. No worries. It's always good to ask questions, right? No problem. But let's do some jump squats next, yeah? You do the jump version, I'll do the pulsing version, okay? One more round of these, or you're doing your seesaw lunge and you're doing the other leg, okay? Let's go. And remember, you can add weights with these if you want to. Ah, why am I scared? Let's go. Yes, it does. It sure does. That's bad. I'm like forgetting exercises because I haven't done them in a minute. Um, okay, so anyways, let's go do our jump squats, yeah? Let's go. gonna jump the last two I'm just gonna do like a pulse or something or just a regular squat 
10 regular squats, okay? This is our jump squat at set number two. I encourage you to do all four sets jumping unless you're recovering from an injury, which is what I'm doing, right? I broke my foot. Okay, let's go. So if you're doing jump squats, go do the jump squats. But then we're gonna go do four sets of pulsing um, squats, okay? So, forget it, let's just finish, sorry. I don't wanna make it confusing for you guys. Let's just do two more jump squats, okay? <laughs> ah. Good morning, Johnny! Good morning, Hiking for Happiness. Good morning, Sebastian. Good morning, Nico. Who else pops in? Tracy, I see you. Albert, what's up? Third set, jump squats, let's go. You know how good that feels to jump? We've got one more round and then we're gonna go to the pulsing squats, okay? You can add weights to the jump squats. You would just stack at your collarbone. So it would look like this. Okay? Most of the time you can add weights to something to make it more challenging, but that's totally up to you. Woo, you can feel that. We've 
it. Two more rounds. You guys, we have to go to core. 46. Let's go to core at 10 till, okay? We've got about three minutes. So we have time for maybe one more exercise after this. I don't know. Let's try. Pulsing squats. This is our third set. regular lunge you do not stop there's no stopping okay it's straight through with your reps so we come here our first lunge curtsy lunge reverse lunge curtsy reverse lunge curtsy that's why it's called the finisher oh it burns we've got two minutes let's see if we can do two sets yeah let's go we are using weights, but I have to say, if you don't, I'm not gonna be mad at you because this is really challenging. Drive up through your heel, shoulders back, chest up, your core is engaged, and that's pretty much it. Let's go. Three more rounds. After this, we're going straight through to core. We've got nine minutes. Oh my god. Am I like, is it just me or are we like smoked right now? How are we feeling, you guys? Somebody say something. Woo! Thanks for the follows, you guys. Okay, core. What the heck did we do yesterday where I was like, damn, that was good? Oh, it was the gonna say Russian twist. It was the crunch, sorry, jackknife into a hollow hold immediately into 30 seconds of toe touch or 30 seconds of flutter kicks. That was so good. 
but we're gonna go do toe taps. Remember, you can do plank jacks, okay? Jump out with it. I'm not going to, but that's totally an option. Let me show you. If you're not jumping, your rep count is one, one, two, two. If you're jumping, it's one, two, three, four. If not, it's one, one. It's gonna be a little longer, yeah? Okay, you ready? High plank position, shoulders in line with your hands. We have a neutral back and a neutral spine. Our hips are not up, they're not down, they're neutral. Yeah? Let's go. What can we do? Here's what we're gonna do. You know I like to go fast when we do core. So we're gonna do the plank jack or the plank taps, then we're gonna go onto our back and we're gonna do a bicycle crunch for 30. Okay? I know, it's a lot, but we can do it. Let's go. do that again okay I know the sun's coming out let's go Oh, 
number 10. Breathe. We have to do the flutter kicks for 30 seconds. And then I think we're done. I think. Keyword. Oh. Let's go. This is fun, right? <laughs> it's fun for me. I love it. Okay, so if you can get your mind right about working out and make it a positive experience, it's gonna be a game changer for you because it's just gonna it's gonna affect the way that you think about it, the way that you prep about it afterwards. You're never not never, but you're gonna you're really gonna start to associate it with being like good, and you're gonna think of all the good things that come from it, and you're not gonna have like a negative feeling towards it or be like, oh, I have to work out, or like, oh this sucks or oh I don't want to go to the gym today you know what I mean don't get me wrong I have my days where I'm like I do not want to work out but I still show up regardless because because I know I I know all the benefits that I get from it and everything good that comes from it yeah okay guys we're so done congratulations you're already at the gym Woohoo! have a fantastic workout e-rider <sighs> Uh, thank you. I appreciate it. But getting a massage since I'm done. Ooh, nice. I'm jelly. Okay. I hope you had a great workout. Man, we just had a fantastic workout. That was so good. Yosh. Hi, Yosh. Thanks for being here. Okay, you guys, we're so done. Let's go stretch so we can get out of here. You're welcome. Okay. Like I said, I know it's a not like that that's like an indicator of a great workout, but I haven't been like sweating my butt off. Oh, there's a little bug on the mirror. I mean, on the camera. Um, I haven't been sweating my butt off in a minute, and I saw like sweat just like going down. And I'm like, yeah, it's a great workout. Okay, let's go shot. Okay, so we are going to, we're gonna go into a supine twist. So head over to the mat, go on your back. Yes! Coming through with the hand hearts. I appreciate you so much. Yay! So pretty. Thank you so much, Yosh. I appreciate you. You guys, give it up for Yosh. Give it up for Yosh. Thanks, buddy. You're so sweet. I appreciate you. Okay, so we're gonna go into a supine twist. You're gonna be on your back on the mat. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn our legs, our hips over to the right and our back and our shoulder blades are still gonna stay on the mat, okay? This should feel really good. Yo, you're the best. I appreciate you. Yay! Okay, let's go stretch. Okay, so we're here. Bring your legs over to the right. I see the hearts. Woohoo! So what I want you to do is place your left hand on your right knee. And then I want you to take your right arm and thank you for the hearts, Yosh. Woohoo! Love it. And then you're gonna place your right arm over here to the side. I want your back and your shoulder blades on the mat, yeah? How are we just getting to the song? Probably because I talk a lot and today I didn't talk that much. Because I'm like, why is this song barely coming on? Yosh, thank you for the hearts. I appreciate you. Thank you for the love. Thank you so, so much. Yay. Give it up for Yosh, you guys. Okay, we're going to come over to the right. Opposite direction. Turn those hips to the right. I want your left arm out. You can put your right arm on your 
left me. This should feel really good. Go 
into a child's pose. Love the workout and changing it up yeah the last like month i've just been going off of up here but also too i couldn't i didn't want to do exercises that i couldn't necessarily do with weights and i know that sucks for you guys but um we're we're, we're good now we should be able to do everything so the next leg day that we do we'll be doing step ups and split squats and we will be getting back into our hip thrust so if you miss the hip thrust, those are really good for your glutes. So we'll be doing those too, okay? So, oh damn, beast dance deadlifts, and I forgot deadlifts too. That's okay, we have Friday. Um, so anyways, you guys, have a fantastic day. Let's go do our two deep breaths, okay? So at the end of our workouts, I like to do two deep breaths, practice um, gratitude, and also just set your intentions for the day, yeah? And also, pat yourself on the freaking back, because we did it, right? Yeah, two deep breaths. For sure. Thank you. I almost forgot. <laughs> Let's go. All right. My, my shake is made. It's in the fridge. So that's like 51 grams right there. Boom. I'm going to go drink that. You guys have a fantastic day. If you're trying to lose weight or build muscle, remember protein, protein, protein. Um, you should be hitting your weight in grams, right? It's it's a range, but we just round up. Just do your weight in grams. I know, it's a lot. It's a lot. But as long as you look at your food in the lens of where's my protein, you'll start to get a little bit better each day by adding more protein to your plate, right? So, um... And especially if you're a woman, when you're um, when you get past like 35, 40, you start to lose muscle mass, right? So if you're not taking protein, if you're not considering taking protein into account or really considering um, making that a priority, it is because you're losing muscle mass. Like I think it's every year. Um, so that's just food for thought, right? Um, but anyways, have a fantastic day. Thank you for the hand hug. Guys, I don't know if it's these vitamins or what, but I'm like, I feel like I'm on, not crack, but like, high on life. No, I'm just kidding. I'm in such a good mood. And I know it's so annoying. I'm so sorry. <laughs> but have a fantastic day, you guys. I will talk to you tomorrow. We're going to finish this week strong. We're going to hit Friday and do a fantastic leg day workout. Um, go follow me on YouTube. Go follow me on Instagram. And go follow me on TikTok. I have therapy and then... I'm going to work on getting my phone situation fixed out, like fixed. So I'm gonna work on that so I can start posting on YouTube again. I tried to, but um, my phone was like, nope, ain't gonna happen. Have a fantastic day, I'll talk to you guys later, bye-bye.